Hello and welcome to the third video in my UCSF Chimera protein imaging series. Today I'm just going to show you how to make a simple image of UCSF Chimera and then upload it to my Google Forms. This is primarily for my biochemistry class. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open Chimera. I, please register. I've registered so many times it doesn't really matter at this point for me. And then I like to get the window about square. A square window will produce nice square output images for uploading later. So now the next thing to do is go to File, Fetch by ID. You can use either file of Fetch by ID. Uh, look up the structure you're supposed to be uh, working on for this week, but I'm going to enter 2LYZ, which is the structure for lysozyme. All right, so you can see the uh, protein fits nicely in my window. If your window is sized improperly, sometimes protein might be cut off, in which case you need to zoom. If you have a scroll bar, on your mouse, great, you can just use that to kind of zoom it in, uh, scale it back a little bit. Otherwise, I think you have to use the not control command and then up on the trackpad. So I'm going to command and then click the left button and scroll up. So I'm holding command and stuff up. Windows, I guess that would be control. The other buttons like right click, I guess also would scale. So if you have a two button mouse, uh, you can do that where left click would be spinning, but control left click does the scale. So also uh, the option or alt button with the right left click will allow you move the protein around. So lots of good tools for kind of moving it around. In future videos, you'll be have to position it. You can also access all the mouse controls here in the preferences menu. Go to preferences and then mouse, and then you can kind of see which buttons do what. So here we have rotate, translate, and scale, which are the three buttons. If you have a three button mouse, most people don't have a three button mouse. But you can use touch gestures and stuff on a Mac and advanced trackpad features, I guess is what I'm saying. All right, so I like to do kind of like maybe a preset. Uh, feel free to play around with the other menus. Uh, and then all you need to do is say save image. Uh, make sure it's PMG. I'm saving it to my desktop. The name is image. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to hit the save button. And it's going to finish saving the image. And now I can do file quit or that file quit. And... Next thing you do is now we have the image PNG on our desktop. Take a look at it here. There's the image. So now I can go to the Google form. Looking up Google. And you can fill all this information out yourself. And then here you do the add file. I'm going to select file from my computer. I'm going to grab the image.png. I'm going to upload. Once that is finished, uh, I can fill out the other information that you're required to do and then hit submit. And that's all you need to do for week one. All right, I hope that helps you get your first assignment done.